Hi guys, it's Molly, and today I'm doing a video on what I have in my grooming kit, and it's going to be updated, because the last one I did was like really long time ago, and I didn't even like show my face, it was just the box or whatever. Um, so I'm going to be showing you that today, my new and improved one, and um, I'm just, I'm sorry, I just got out of the shower, so I'm kind of like trying to look a little bit decent here. Um, but yeah, this is updated, so a lot has changed, um, and what I'm going to be telling you is, like, what the product is, um, where I got it from, if I remember, um, and, yeah, that's all, because I don't want to make this really long, because long videos, no one wants, wants, wants to watch 15 minute videos, just face it, no one does. Okay, so, without further ado, and without me babbling anymore, we are going to get into it. So, this is my grooming bag. It's by Tough One. Um, and everybody, like, I feel like everyone has this grooming bag. I'm not even joking. Like, everyone on YouTube has this bag. Um, except a lot of people have it in, like, the zebra print. I just have mine in hot pink. In the bag, I got from chickfadlery.com. So, yeah. And it comes with this strap, but I thought I'd take it off for the video because I thought it would be, like, distracting. So, I took it off. So, yeah. Here's my bag. Whoa, I just almost dropped it on the keyboard. Um, and it has, like, all of these compartments on it. So, like, okay, and mind tell you, this camera is backwards, so excuse me if I'm, like, trying to, like, reach over somewhere where nothing is. Because um, it's, like, backwards. Like, the camera says that the foil is over there, over there, but it's actually, like, over here. Um, so I don't know what happened with that. But, yeah, it has... All these pockets up here, um, two scrunchy pockets, and this big opening pocket. Let me show you how it opens up. I have this zipper, and when you open it, it boxes out like that. So you can fit a ton of stuff in here, and I really recommend this bag if you're if you're not too like organized because a lot of people are organized and they don't like it when they get bags because there's not compartments for everything, but I like this bag and I recommend it, but some people wouldn't. So yeah, that's what the bag looks like, and it has the compartments in the front, the box out, and then it has the two scrunchies, and then it has a big pocket in the back. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with what's on the sides. So on this side, we have my mane and tail stuff. So I have my um, mane and forelock comb which is from Oster, and I got this from my local tax shop. Um, yeah, I'm just setting stuff on the ground. And then I have my tail brush, which is purple, and it is by Tail Tamer. And it's the curved handle brush. And I got this from my local tax shop as well. Um, and then I have my detangler which is Johnson's Kids No More Tangles Detangling Spray and Strawberry Sensation. And this actually smells really good. I like the smell of it. Um, yeah. Some people might say it's not a good idea to, like, use regular, like, human detangler on horses, but I really don't think it makes a difference because it just, I just don't think it does. It probably all has the same ingredients. It just says for horses on it. This doesn't say not for horses anywhere, so thinking that will be alright. Um, so yeah, I have that. And I got this from Walmart. Um, and that was all in one scrunchy pocket. And the other one, I have this, my hoof conditioner, which is super gross on the top. And this is hoof, absorbing hoof flex all natural dressing. And a lot of people think this is, like, dressing as in, like, oil for the hooves for, like, shows. And it's not. It's conditioner. It's, like, condition their hooves. Um, and I'll open it for you. I don't want to get it everywhere, but, yeah, there it is. Um, and I got this at a horse show in, like, one of the tax booths or something. So, yeah, there's my hoof conditioner. I, that's what I call it. Um, and so that's all in the scrunchy pockets. Now we're going to go to the back pocket. Um, and I managed to fit so much stuff in here. It's not even funny. Um, okay, so the first thing we have are baby wipes. They're from CVS. They're upside down. 
They're from CVS and they're just uh there's baby wipes for their hand and face and it opens like that and it's just take them out. And it comes with twenty five and you can never have enough baby wipes. Um, I got those from CVS. This, um, is the whisker clipper thing, and if you guys don't have one of these, go get one, because they're great. Um, I don't know where I got this from, but it's by Gallant. Probably can't see that, but it's by Gallant, and it's the whisker trimmer. Um, and then the next I have, like, two packages of braiding bands that I got from my local tack shop. They're just brown braiding bands. Um, nothing special. And then the last thing I have in here are these heart easy towels. And what they are is like these little heat like circles. And like when you put them on underwater, they expand in like a towel that you can wipe your hands off with. So they're really cool. And all you need is like water. And I got these from my local tax shop. And they're called heart easy towels. Um so that was all that was in the back pocket. Now we'll move up to the front. And right here, right, no, right there, I have I have my pulling comb. Don't know where I got it from. It's just a pulling comb. Um, pulling combs you can always tell because they have straight edges, like metal straight edges on them. So yeah, that's my pulling comb. Um, I have the next pocket over. I have some scissors that I got from like Walmart. Um, just orange scissors. Um, and then I have sunscreen, copper tone, pig, um, sunscreen, because you never know when you might need some. Um, so I got my sunscreen, and then I got that from Walmart, I think, as well. Then I have my finishing mitt, which I use got from CVS and it's pink and has the little needly things on them. Um, so that's my finishing mitt. And that was all that was in the front pockets. And now we'll move into the inside. Um, where my actual like brushes are, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna start with the curry combs first because I have like a billion different kinds of curry combs. So first I have these two curry combs. Um, they're like the same thing. This one's a little bigger, but this is just a blue, regular, your standard curry. Um, I got this from my local tack shop. And then I have my purple, standard, regular curry, which I also got from my local tack shop. Um, so those were my two standard curries. Um, then I have my jelly scrubber, which I got from my local tack shop. Um, um, yeah, and that's my jelly scrubber, it's hot pink. Um, and then I have my sweat curry, um, which I use when he's, like, sweaty, but not super sweaty, so I can hose him off. Um, I use this to just get the sweat marks off. Um, and it's just bright green, and that's what I use that for. Um, then I have my face curry, which I obviously use to curry his face, and it's that same purple color as my standard purple curry comb, but this is a face curry. Um, so, yep, and then I'm going to go to my hard brushes. So I actually, this is my hard brush slash dandy brush. Um, it's just this multicolored brush. Um, and I got everything that I just mentioned at my local towel shop. Like my green curry comb I got at my local tack shop. I got this at my local tack shop as well. And this is by Haas. And the other ones didn't have brands on them. That's why I didn't mention. Um, so yeah, that's from Haas. And then I have my leg brush, which I don't know where it's from because it doesn't have a brand. I got this from my local tack shop, and it's just navy blue and orange. Um, and these brushes all are all dirty because I haven't cleaned them in like a really long time, which is sad, but I haven't. Then I have my soft brush, which is by Tail Tamer, which I got at my local tack shop. Um, it has like the gray bristles and the silver back. Um, and then I have my face brush, which is by Econa, and I got from my local tack shop. 
and it's just blue. And then I have my shedding blade, which I got from online at chicksaddler.com. Um, it's pink, and it's by Tough One. Um, just the double shedding blade. And then lastly, I have my hoof stick. This one I got from smartpacks.com. It's purple and pink, and it has the brush and the pick, and I actually really like this one. And then I have my Oster hoof pick, which I don't use as often because you can see how bent backwards it is. Um, and yeah, that's all I have in my grooming kit, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.